Mike, just uh, start with well, both of you guys. Just both of you guys. Just the, just the obvious thing is when Coach Brock told you he was going to Purdue, what was the reaction? Uh, you know, obviously, we uh, we didn't like to see Coach Brom go from a selfish standpoint. You know, uh, we loved playing for him, I think, on both sides of the ball and special teams included. Uh, but, I mean, what he did here was amazing. You know, uh, two back-to-back 10-win -back seasons, back-to-back -back conference champions. I mean, you can't really uh, be disappointed in what he did, and you can't blame him for leaving. We uh, we wish him the best, and we're really grateful for, for what he did here. What was the difficulties all there in practice for that whole game, not seeing him on the sideline? It'll definitely be weird, but uh, I mean, at the end of the day, it's football, it's a business, and we all know that, unfortunately, but uh, the most important thing is winning, is winning the bowl game, regardless of, uh, of what's going on around us. We got to uh, stay a family and, and stay in our bubble and uh, win, the, win the bowl game. Thanks for the same question to you. What's it like now not having him here after you know, having him here your whole time here? Yeah, it's a little, it's different. Um, you know, it kind of hurts, but uh, like Mike said, it's a business, and so um, you try not to to get too attached, but you know, Coach Coach Brown was such a such a great coach and an even better person. So, you know, it's uh, it's tough, but we understand what it is. Um, I wish him nothing but the best. I know he's going to do a great job. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, coach Holt addressed the team. Um, just basically echoed the same things. You know. Um, we're happy for him, you know, we understand it's a business. And so, uh, you know, we're ready, for, we just got to get ready for this bowl game and, uh, you know, see where it goes. Was Coach Holt pretty fired up? Oh yeah, absolutely. He was, uh, I mean, the the the, uh, the 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 room was kind of um, kind of dead. So he he definitely provided some uh, some energy for us, which helped out. Yeah, at some point, you guys sort of forget there's still a bowl game to play with, with all this stuff going on and you have to get refocused. I mean, uh, we just won a conference championship a couple of days ago, so I think we got to remember that and remember the success we had on the field. You know, uh, regardless of who our coaches, we're still the one out there making the tackles, making the blocks, the throws, the catches. Uh, I mean, our coaches put us in a great position to do so, but at the end of the day, it was us, and we have to remember that we are we are still a very good football team, and uh, we're going to go out there in the bowl game and show it. What's the biggest challenge you think the team's going to face this transition? Uh, just to stay focused. We had a uh, we had a, obviously a team meeting. Coach Holt, Coach Holt provided a lot of energy and, and showed us that I mean the train's going to keep going. You know, uh, we're a football team. We're going to go out there. We're going to play football. We're going to run hard. We're going to fly around the field, play hard, and, and play smart, and, and and just keep doing what we do. Mike, uh, Coach Holt told us that because Brian Ellis is going to call the plays in the bowl game. A little bit of transition there. What, what kind of what kind of adjustment will that be for you having someone else doing that? Well, a good thing is that uh, Coach Ellis has been here for a while, so it's not really a new face to us. Uh, we interact with him every day on the field. It's just just a different face calling plays. I mean, I don't think it'll be that much of a transition. He's very good at his job. He, he knows this offense really well, and I think he'll put us in, in good positions. Mike, I know you came here to play for Coach Brown mm -hmm. for this offense. Any chance in the offseason to reevaluate, maybe you know, decide to go somewhere else? I, I transferred once, and I uh, it's it's tough. So uh, I came here, like you said, I came here to not just play for Coach Brown, but play for the tops. I mean, this offense is uh, it's it's fun. This is the most fun I've ever had playing college football, and uh, obviously Coach Brown is a testament to that. But also the coaches we still have here, and uh, I mean it's it's been a it's been a great year, and we hope to uh, end it on a high note. Have you looked at Memphis at all? Have you been I I got uh, yeah I mean it's it's been kind of hectic but I got a chance to play against Memphis when I was at USF so I do kind of have a couple of, of games to go back on uh, and also I have buddies at USF that I've talked to about Memphis but uh, I mean it's it's been hard but I mean we gotta we gotta focus we gotta get in the film room whenever we can and, and start practice on Friday. Was that your first win? It was Memphis was my first home game as a starter yeah. Uh, I think we ended up losing by 10 points or something like that. But I mean, they're, they're a good football team, so we we need to be ready and we need to be uh, ready to roll. Hey, you worked with Coach Holt now for for three years. What do you think makes him qualified to to take <coughs> the interim and, and lead this team kind of this transition period and maybe to you know have a full time? Yeah, I've um, known Coach for three years now, and um, I, I mean I can say that he's uh, definitely loves his job. He loves football. Um, he always brings you know enthusiasm to to the game, and so. You know, it makes it easy to, um, to you know, to play the game and to have energy, especially being a, on the defense. You know, we. Um, but yeah, I think he definitely, he definitely is going to do a good job um, the next weeks. 
you know, kind of energizing the team and uh, rallying us. But uh, yeah, we'll see. Are you guys pulling for him to get the job? Well, uh, you know, whoever they whoever they choose really is uh, that's up to Todd. I know you do a great job. Um, I think Coach Coach Holt is definitely qualified. I think whoever they choose um, will we'll rally behind him. Guys, this is for both of you. Coach Holt was in here right beforehand and he made it very clear he wants the job. And you know, you guys want to win this ball game badly. I've been around this where some interim head coaches are kind of coaching for another job. What does it mean that you're interim head coach? He's all in here. I mean, he, he wants to be here. What kind of a statement does that say to you guys as players? I mean, it, it means a lot, you know, because as players, we're obviously, we're all in. And uh, when you have a head coach that provides energy like uh, like Coach Holt did during this time, it, it's, it's big. You know, I think, uh, like Iggy said, he'll be able to rally us together and then focus us on the task at hand, which is beating Memphis. Iggy, same thing. What does it mean that Coach Holt is all in? Yeah, absolutely. It means a lot. Um, no, you know, it'd be easy for the players to, you know, to, to rally behind him and, you know, keep this thing moving. So we're excited. We're excited for the next upcoming weeks. We want to go uh, win this bowl game and, uh, you know, go on from there. Anything else? Right, guys, thanks.